It's Charlotte City leaders making safer streets a priority, and they say new technology could help achieve that. And one goal in particular here is pumping the brakes on speeding and crashes. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper shares here an app could help with that by pairing police enforcement with community awareness. It's the need for speed. When it does happen, it's quite a bit over the speed limit. That CMPD and Charlotte City Council say they want to put the brakes on. So crashes like this become less common. There are people who are driving irresponsibly. They're not only putting their own lives at risk, but putting the lives of others at risk. Data collected from CMPD helped to identify speed corridors across the city, including parts of Independence Boulevard and the plaza. There tends to be a lot of the people who get it in their head that they're going to race someone else. Nearly a month long enforcement operation along these streets showed 1300 violations and more than half of those were for speeding. Whether people are driving on our streets, biking on our streets, walking on the sidewalks alongside our streets, they should feel like they can do that safely. Get real time audio notifications. Red light. And now the travel safely app hopes to do just that. When downloaded, drivers will get alerts about speeding cars nearby and also warn the driver themselves if they're hitting high speeds near school zones, cycle lanes, or pedestrian crosswalks. Cary, North Carolina already launched their Travel Safely program, and now Charlotte is next up. The city plans to invest $100,000 into the pilot program in South End, and if proven successful, they say they plan to extend that safety program in areas like this all across Charlotte. We want people to be more mindful of the way that they conduct themselves on our streets. A mindfulness they say just might save a life. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.